This week's reason for why a lot of you out there aren't seeing the gains that you want is because a lot of you are too busy doing someone else's shit and not focusing on your gains, your progress, and what you need in order to be better. What I really mean by that to get specific is a lot of you are looking to other people and their programs and their exercises and their methodologies just in terms of specifically what they do in order to see progress and not trying to figure out what it is you specifically need in order to see progress. Now, I'm not saying that there aren't people out there who are providing great ideas about the fundamentals of exercise and how you can make use of them in order to really see significant progress in your workouts, in your physique, in your strength. But there's a lot of people who are providing you information or saying providing you information and all they're really doing is telling you something that happened to specifically work for them. This can play poorly in two different scenarios. In a lot of cases, I see it happening where people who aren't enhanced lifters or people who are just generally speaking, not even kind of physiologically built like an IFBB pro, looking to an enhanced IFBB pro and going, oh, so they're doing this exercise, which means in order for me to get X muscle bigger, I should do this exercise. No, that really couldn't be further away from an ob objective truth. The reason for that is, a lot of the people you're seeing as IFBB pros are genetic freaks. I say that in the best possible way, of course. These are people who are the outliers for responders to performance enhancing drugs. These are people who are outliers for their ability to build muscle. They're people who could pretty much do anything and see progress. They don't have to try very hard. Rough Diesel actually mentioned this in uh, in a Reddit post not that long ago. I don't know if I can find it and post it. It probably won't, but if you wanna go looking for it on our bodybuilding, you'll probably be able to find it pretty easily. But he said, a lot of you guys shouldn't be looking to the IFBB pros for your advice. They, they won't be able to give you valid guidance because they've never had to try to do stuff to see optimal results. Everything works for them. So it doesn't matter what they do. So when a lot of people see X bodybuilder doing X exercise and they go, I should do X to see the same results, they're never going to get them, ever. No matter how hard they try, no matter how perfect their form is to what that person is doing, oftentimes their genetic makeup just allows them the ability to make gains off of anything. There's another side to this though, and this one, it actually applies to the ladies a lot. So many of y'all are trying to do booty builder programs based on the advice of women who always had a fat ass to begin with. They never had to try. They were genetically gifted with it, either by having just a propensity for building glute muscles that are just off the charts, or they just had a lot of fat in their glutes. They had a fat ass from the jump. So all the exercises they're doing, not really changing anything for them, just kind of maintaining the status quo for them. So for any girl out there who has basically a board or like a, just a billboard booty, they're not going to have any luck with that program because chances are it's not built off of sound scientific fundamental principles. It's just, oh, I did this, so you know, you should do it too but you could do it all day and you'll see no results because that wasn't ever the answer to how did their booty get fat. So it just, it's, you can't look to a lot of other people to see how to do things unless those people are trying to show you how basic scientific fundamental principles apply to a specific muscle group and how you could possibly train them in one way. But those people are often talking in nuances and giving you ideas and variations on how to do something so that you have a lot of tools at your disposal to build a program yourself. You have to decide what it is that you are missing, what it is that you need, and how you can apply whatever information they're giving you to make your physique, yourself better. You can't just copy paste their stuff to you. It's never gonna work. I mean, there's also the fact that a lot of times you're doing it just in one dimensional aspects. You're going, oh, this person does this exercise. I will do this and gain said muscle. Nope. 
oh, this person eats this in a day, so I will eat this and I will get that same result. Nope. Everything that they're doing is individualized. It's specific to them and it works for them. But unless you are them, you're never going to see that result. Ever. You need to sit down and figure out some way, whether it is by yourself and through research, significant amounts of research and self-analysis of various data points, what it is that you need and what it is that will help you get that which you need. Then apply that. Or, of course, find a professional who's able to look at those aspects, those data points, and then go, oh, cool based on what you want, what you need, and how you are structured, and what I'm seeing in the data, these are the things that will get you where you need to go. But for you to believe that you could just copy paste some randos program in any way, shape, or form and replicate the results is absolute insanity. You have to stop it. It's not gonna do you any good, neither mentally nor physically. Well, that pretty much does it for today. I say we wrap up the set. Rack it.